Good evening, my dear humanoid friends and the occasional wandering in alien. Welcome to come hang out with Stan as we read through the Bible together in 2023. This evening we resume in Jeremiah. We went through chapter 41 yesterday. We pick up in 42 today, and I'm going to try to do 42, 43, and 44, but we'll see. <clears throat> chapter 42 of Jeremiah, then all the captains of the forces, and Johanan, the son of Korea, and Jezaniah the son of Hoshia, and all the people from the least even unto the greatest came near. And they said unto Jeremiah the prophet, At let we beseech thee, our supplication be accepted before thee, and pray for us unto the Lord thy God, even for all this remnant. For we are left, but a few of many, as thine eyes do, behold us, that the Lord thy God may show us the way wherein we may walk, and the thing that we may do. And I pray that is your prayer also, that the Lord my God, which I hope is the same as your God, show you and me, I'm praying it for me too, the way wherein we may walk and the thing that we may do. Everything, friends, that we do, say, and even think should glorify God, everything. I kind of fall short occasionally. Then Jeremiah the prophet said unto them, I have heard you. Behold, I will pray unto the Lord your God according to your words, and it shall come to pass that whatsoever thing the Lord shall answer you, I will declare it unto you. I will keep nothing back from you. Then they said to Jeremiah, the Lord be a true and faithful witness between us, if we do not even according to all the things for which the Lord thy God shall send thee to us. Whether it be good or whether it be evil, we will obey the voice of the Lord our God, to whom we send thee, that it may be well with us, when we obey the voice of the Lord our God. And it came to pass after ten days that the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah. Then called he Johann, Johannan the son of Korea and all the captains of the forces which were with him and all the people from the least even to the greatest and said unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, the God of Israel, unto whom ye sent me to present your supplication before him. If ye will still abide in this land, then will I build you and not pull you down, and I will plant you and not pluck you up, for I repent me of the evil that I have done unto you. Be not afraid of the king of Babylon, of whom ye are afraid. Be not afraid of him, saith the Lord, for I am with you to save you and to deliver you from his hand. And I will show mercies unto you that he may have mercy upon you and cause you to return to your own land. But if you say, We will not dwell in this land, neither obey the voice of the Lord your God, saying, No, but we will go into the land of Egypt, where we shall see no more 
nor hear the sound of the trumpet, nor have hunger of bread, and there will we dwell. And now, therefore, hear the word of the Lord, ye remnant of Judah. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, if ye wholly set your faces to enter into Egypt and go to sojourn there, then it shall come to pass that the sword which ye feared shall overtake you there in the land of Egypt and the famine whereof ye were afraid shall follow close after you there in Egypt and there ye shall die. So shall it be with all the men that set their faces to go into Egypt to sojourn there. They shall die by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence, and none of them shall remain or escape from the evil that I will bring upon them. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, as mine anger and my fury hath been poured from upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so shall my fury be poured forth upon you when ye shall enter into Egypt, and ye shall be an execration and an astonishment and a curse and a reproach, and ye shall see this place no more. The Lord hath said concerning you, O ye remnant of Judah, Go ye not into Egypt, know certainly that I have admonished you this day. For ye disassembled in your hearts when ye sent me unto the Lord your God, saying, Pray for us unto the Lord our God, and according unto all that the Lord our God shall say, so declare us, and we will do it. And now I have this day declared it to you, but ye have not obeyed the voice of the Lord your God, nor anything for the which he hath sent me unto you. Now therefore know certainly that ye shall die by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence in the place whither ye desire to go and to sojourn. chapter 43 of Jeremiah and it came to pass that when Jeremiah had made an end of speaking unto all the people all the words of the Lord their God for which the Lord their God had sent him to them even all these words then spake Azariah the son of Hoshiah and Johanan the son of Koreah and all the proud men, saying unto Jeremiah, Thou speakest falsely. The Lord our God hath not sent thee to say, Go not into Egypt to sojourn there. Sounds like a whole bunch of people today, doesn't it, y'all? But Barak, Barak, I don't know how to say that word, Baruch, Barak, the son of Neriah, setteth thee on against us for to deliver us into the hand of the Chaldeans, that they might push us to death and carry us away captives into Babylon. So Johanan, the son of Korea, and all the captains of the forces, and all the people obeyed not the voice of the Lord to dwell in the land of Judah. Hard, headed, stiff, neck, disobedient people, friends. When the Lord gives us a command we 
better obey it to a T. Not veer one way or the other from what the, his exact words were to us. I tell you what. Jonathan, the son of the warrior, and uh, even men and women and children and the king's daughters and every person that Nebuzar, Adan, the captain of the guard, had left with Gedala, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, and Jeremiah the prophet, and Barak, the son of Neriah. So they came into the land of Egypt, for they obeyed not the voice of the Lord. Thus they came, they even to Tapanis. Then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah and Tapanis, saying, Take great stones in a hand, and hide them in the clay, in the brick kiln, which is at the entrance entry of Pharaoh's house, in Tapanis, in the sight of the men of Judah. And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, behold, I will send and take Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, and will set his throne upon these stones that I have laid, and he shall spread his royal pavilion over them. And when he cometh, he shall smite the land of Egypt and deliver such as for death to death and such as or for captivity to captivity, and such as are for the sword to the sword. And I will kindle a fire in the houses of the gods of Egypt, and shall burn them, and carry them away captives, and he shall array himself with the land of Egypt, as a shepherd putteth on his garment, and he shall go forth, from thence in peace. He shall break also the images of Beth Shemesh that is in the land of Egypt and the houses of the gods of Egyptian of the Egyptians shall be burnt shall he burn with fire. God doesn't like idols, y'all. He doesn't like disobedience I just don't understand I, I used to be like them though I was just exactly like them if God said something I would do the opposite and it, he got a hold of me and worked me over chapter 44 of Jeremiah the word that came to Jeremiah concerning all the Jews which dwell in the land of Egypt, which dwell at Migdal, and at Tup, and his, and at Noph, and in the country of Pathros, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, ye have seen all the evil that I have brought upon Jerusalem and upon the cities of Judah, and behold, this day they are a desolation. Kitty Callie's talking to y'all, y'all here. And no man dwelleth therein, because of their wickedness, which they have committed to provoke me to anger, in that they went to burn incense. Man, oh man. There's churches that does that, and has idols that people worship today. And, and just look at all the abominations in the world today, especially in America. Things that God himself calls abominations. You think he's not going to tear us apart? Judgment is coming, y'all, and it's not going to be pretty. Because of their wickedness, which they have committed to provoke me to anger, and that 
they went to burn incense and to serve other gods, and they knew not, neither they, ye, nor your fathers. How be it I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, O oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. And there's a bunch of abominable things that God hates happening inside big churches in America every day right now. And outside of churches too. But, you know, a place that calls itself a house of God, doing things that God calls an abomination, that's not going to turn out well, I can promise you. But they hearken not, nor incline thine ear, their ear to turn from their wickedness, to burn no incense unto other gods. Wherefore my fury and mine anger was poured forth and was kindled in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, and they are wasted and desolate as at this day. Therefore now thus saith the Lord, the God of hosts, the God of Israel, wherefore commit ye this great evil against your souls to cut off from you man and woman, child and suckling out of Judah, to leave you none to remain, and that ye provoke, provoke me unto wrath with the works of your hands, burning incense unto other gods in the land of Egypt, whether ye be gone to dwell, that ye might cut yourselves off, and that ye might be a curse and a reproach among all the nations of the earth. Have ye forgotten the wickedness of your fathers and the wickedness of the kings of Judah and the wickedness of their wives and of your own wickedness and the wickedness of your wives which they have committed in the land of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? They are not humbled even unto this day, neither have they feared nor walked in my law nor in my statutes and I sit before you and before your fathers. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will set my face against you for evil and to cut off all Judah. And I will take the remnant of, Ju remnant of Judah that have set their faces to go into the land of Egypt to sojourn there and they shall all be consumed. And they shall fall in the land of Egypt. They shall even be consumed by the sword and by the famine. They shall die from the least even unto the greatest by the sword and by the famine. And they shall be an execration and an astonishment, and a curse, and a reproach. For I will punish them that dwell in the land of Egypt, as I have punished Jerusalem by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence, so that none of the remnant of Judah, which are gone into the land of Egypt to sojourn there, shall escape or remain, that they should return into the land of Judah to the which they have a desire to return to dwell there for none shall return but such as shall escape. Then all the men which knew that their wives had burned incense unto other gods and all the women that stood by a great multitude even all the people that dwell in the land of Egypt and Pathros answered Jeremiah, saying, As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of the Lord, we will not hearken unto thee, but we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth 
out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the Queen of Heaven mm -mm -mm. and to pour out drink offerings unto her as we have done we and our fathers, our kings, and our princes in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem for then had we plenty of victuals and were well and saw no evil. But since we left off to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her, we have wanted all things and have been consumed by the sword and by the famine. And when we burned incense to the Queen of Heaven and burned out drink offerings unto her, did we make her cakes to worship her and pour out drink offerings unto her without our men? All of their worship, all of anybody's worship, y'all, should be only, only to God. Not through this way or through that way or through this person or that person. Straight, direct to and for God. Then Jeremiah said unto all the people, to the men and to the women and to all the people which had given him that answer, saying, The incense that ye burned in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, ye and your fathers, your kings and your princes, and the people of the land, did not the Lord remember them, and came it not into his mind? so that the Lord could no longer bear because of the evil of your doings and because of the abominations which you have committed. Therefore, is your land a desolation and an astonishment and a curse without an inhabitant as at this day? Because ye have burned incense and because ye have sinned against the Lord and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord, nor walked in his law, nor in his statutes, nor in his testimonies, therefore this evil is happened unto you as at this day. Moreover, Jeremiah said unto all the people and to all the women, Hear the word of the Lord, all Judah, that are in the land of Egypt. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, Ye and your wives have both spoken with your mouths and fulfilled with your hands saying we will surely perform our vows that we have vowed to burn incense to the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her ye will surely accomplish your vows and surely perform your vows therefore hear ye the word of the Lord all Judah that dwell in the land of Egypt, behold, I have sworn by my great name, saith the Lord, that my name shall be no more, shall no more be named in the mouth of any man of Judah and all the land of Egypt, saying, The Lord God liveth. Bam, y'all. God doesn't play games. He tells us what to do, and we either obey him or we suffer his wrath. And you may not suffer his wrath immediately, but I guarantee you, you will suffer it if you don't obey him. Behold, I will watch over them for evil and not for good. And all the men of Judah that are in the land of Egypt shall be consumed by the sword and by the famine until there be an end of them. Yet a small number that escape the sword shall return out of the land of Egypt into the land of Judah and all the remnant of Judah that are gone into the land of Egypt to sojourn there shall know whose words shall stand mine or theirs. And can you guess whose words are going to stand, theirs or God's? I hope you got the answer to that correct. 
For this shall be a sign unto you, saith the Lord, that I will punish you in this place, that ye may know that my word shall surely stand against you for evil. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will give Pharaoh Hophra, king of Egypt, into the hand of his enemies, and into the hand of them that seek his life, as I gave Zedekiah, king of Judah, into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, his enemy, and that sought his life. And I'm going to go ahead and read 45 also. It's short. The word, I, I need to read this whole book, y'all. Chapter 45, Jeremiah. The word that Jeremiah the prophet spake unto Barak at the son of Neriah when he had written these words in a book at the mouth of Jeremiah. In the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, unto thee, O Barak, Thou didst say, Woe is me now, for the Lord hath added grief to my sorrow. I fainted in my sighing, in my sighing, and I find no rest. Thus shalt thou say unto him, The Lord saith thus, Behold, that which I have built will I break down, and that which I have planted I will pluck up even this whole land and seekest thou great things for myself seek them not for behold I bring I will bring evil upon all flesh saith the Lord but thy life will I give unto thee for I pray in all places whither thou goest all right I think we did 42 43 44 and 45 maybe 43 through 45. Anyway, I'll put it in the title of the video so you can look it up and read along with me as you listen. God bless you, friends. We seriously need to take our obedience to God extremely serious. It has been proven time and time and time and time again in the Bible that it doesn't end well for those that don't obey the Lord. So why do people still keep disobeying him? It behooves me. But they do. Many religions do. Everybody's going to get judged. God bless your friends. Y'all have a good evening. Y'all on the other side of the world, good morning to you. Y'all have a wonderful day, and all y'all over here, y'all have a wonderful evening. I pray the Lord gives you good rest and sleep tonight. God bless each and every one of you, no matter where you're at. And bedtime, my time, or just before bedtime, my time, every one of you is going to get prayed for by me. And I do that every day because I love you and I care for you.